starting over. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Braz. I am one of the owners of On One Studios, as well as dancer, choreographer, and mentor here. So 2017 has probably been one of the most eventful and most crazy years of my life. It really was a turning point for me, um, especially after the Kickstarter um, when we were just working for a month tirelessly to really try to get the funds to open up the studio and open up the space like we were finally able to do it. And a lot of my goals in 2017 reflected on every like pretty much the opportunities that were given to me. So when the Kickstarter happened and then I became like director of Chocolate Factory and like I had more opportunities everywhere else. It's kind of like I had all the tools at my hands and I had worked for the past six or seven years to build up to that moment where I had all the tools in my hand and now it was just kind of my opportunity to be able to just make everything happen. You know, it was, it really, I had no more excuses at that point. It was like, I have all the pieces, I have all the skill sets, now it's, it's action time. And in doing that, honestly, this year, I've really accomplished everything that I wanted to do. Um, I really I really was able to build a, build a family with Chocolate Factory and the Shop Dance Fam. Um, I really you know, saw my vision come to life with the studio. It's been one of my biggest dreams ever since I graduated high school to open up and own a space of my own. And now it's here and it's still kind of surreal to me, even though it's, we've only been open for about four months, five months at this point, but like, it's still one of the craziest things to me, you know? Um, and then to cap off a year with like, kind of finally leading my team into a first place win and just being able to teach here and just have something that is something I wanted for like such a long time it just feels great really thinking about it but then when you're in it it's just kind of like you're in it you know like i just never am able to fully process that everything that is happening is happening until i'm able to like or someone asks me and it's like oh hey how's your year been it's like oh it's been normal but when i break it down it's like they're like what is going on what are you doing and i'm like you're right man <laughs> like i'm doing all this stuff and it's like it took years to finally get there and i'm and there um, 2018, so for the past two or three months, maybe, maybe two, um, I've been really going through a funk. Like, I was really depressed. I was like eating a lot and just like, just sitting at home, not doing anything. And it was like, why? You know, like I have everything that I've ever wanted. And it's just like, um, I wrote about this on my social media, but like basically, I hit an epiphany where it's like I realized I I reached all the goals that I set out for myself to do since I graduated high school you know and like when you have your dreams essentially come true then it's like then what you know I'm only 27 years old so it's like I'm a third ish through my life so it's like there's so much more to do and it's like I think I was in this funk because I just realized that I needed to set new goals to go into this new era of my life. So as far as 2018 goes, you know, honestly, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, um, what is next for Kevin Braze? What is next for On One Studios, Chocolate Factory, and all other fronts? So I'm just really trying to, to figure it out. But I think everything is going somewhere, and it's just like, I'm in a position where I'm able to guide where each of these things go. And until I'm, like, I really still have to bite on it, but whenever I, it really hits me, I know that I'm prepared to be able to make it happen because I've done it before. A lot of the things that we preach is showing the community and like especially expanding the dance community and um, showing people like the value of what it is to move and dance and everything that it's given me and what it can give them. And that's what it's, it's great to teach beginners because like you're able to have a hand literally on growing the community. Like you're the first impression that a lot of people are going to have with the dance community, with Urban and with whatever else, um, with On One Studios. And so like all the students that have come through, um, albeit like very few, but for, my, for myself, but um, uh, all the students that have come through, like really enjoy their time here. And I really hope that they're able to carry that through the rest of their dance journey. So, you know, like, in that, it was so rewarding. And on top of it too, of course, as an owner of the studio, like I'm able to see the ins and outs, you know? Like I'm able to directly connect with my community um, instead of just being stuck behind four walls and behind a desk all the time. So it was really great. Like I, 
I don't regret picking it up. Yeah, it was tiring because of course I have all this other stuff I needed to do. Well, so being a mentor, like I think in being in that position, you only really truly are able to understand what being a mentor is versus like a teacher or like an instructor or just a choreographer is when you're really communicating with these students and understanding what they want and what they need and what they seek, you know? In dance, like, there's so many things that you can gain from it, and it's like, it was kind of my job to almost, like, figure out what they like or what would latch on to them. And so, that was kind of one of the most rewarding parts as well. Went intensive this year, well, I mean, it's the first one, but first of many, um, like, the lineup is super, super, super diverse, and that's what I love about it, and that's what all the students are honestly gonna gain from it. Like, the most is the difference in movement. Like, from Carlo to Amanda to Jillian. Like, if you're looking at all three of these dancers dancing side by side, side by side, they have their own strengths, you know? But it's like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a dancer that believes in, like, you know, there's no, like, one set way to do it, you know? Like, I like being unique and different and stuff, and that's what I feel like a lot of people are gonna gain from the experience overall, is that you'll be able to just explore three different ways of movement, three types of movement. And for me personally, like, um, I've, I don't say worshiped, that's not the word, but like, I, I've been such a huge fan of Jillian Myers. Um, for a really long time. Like, I think when I first saw her video with Shauna Varisto, um, to Unthinkable, like, I think I, I was like, I think I was 20 or something at that time, but like, I realized like, that's how I wanna move. You know, like this is what dance is to me, you know? And I feel like I've been able to follow that and like, just like, it was, it was like a launching point for me to like really understand where I was and what I believed in as a dancer. So Jillian has inspired me through and through. Um, and I just remember like the first time semi meeting her at Body Rock 2014, 20 something. She was wearing a yellow dress and she was in the corner and I was like freaking out. And I just like, okay, I was like saying hi and stuff. And she's like one of the nicest and greatest people you'll ever meet, to be honest. So like um, really, really, really come out, support intensive. Um, they're all really great. My last words of 2017, um, I'm really just kind of reaching out to anyone who really wants to achieve what they want to achieve. Just go for it. You know, like, no matter how crazy it is, I mean, I grew up in a world where dance was still fleeting. You know, like, it was like a new thing. No one really understood it. People didn't even call it urban at the time. I think it was just like hip hop and stuff and so I was I grew up in a world where um, where I am currently wasn't a possibility or wasn't I wouldn't say a possibility because people have done it like where I am currently um, wasn't or was frowned upon I guess it wasn't a, a viable career choice and now I'm here hustling <laughs> and just making it happen you know so like I'm just super excited um, and I want um, everyone to know that like if you believe in it just go for it that's my last like kind of like two bit from 2017 to 2018 there's so many things happening so many things that are going to be going on in 2018 but I'm ready I'm ready for you and I hope you're ready for me because I'm coming yeah <laughs>